Hello! So George R. R. Martin made a blog post that was kind of more deflecting than actually talking. And I'm not going to go into the blog post, you can read that for yourself. I honestly believe at this point the final books in The Song of Ice and Fire are never going to happen. And I have many theories why, and all of this video is based on just subjective opinion and theories. My own personal theories. So, bear with me. How long have we been teasing these books? These two final books that... Is it one or two at this point? Because again, that's changed at some points as well, because different information and there's no completely reliable source other than his own blog at this point. But we've had countless, oh, the books are finished, they're ready to go. They haven't happened. George R. R. Martin has churned out an endless supply of in-universe books of explaining the lore of the universe that the books take place in, prequels, uh, spin-offs, all of this stuff. But he's not actually creating the final books. He's also stretching himself very thin. I mean, the man will go to an opening of an envelope and that's, come on. He's also doing a lot of production and he's working behind the scenes on a lot of TV stuff. I have major concerns that we're never going to see these books from his lifetime. And that worries me. The man is definitely much old on the older side of things. He's The problem is, he <sighs> clocks are ticking. And that's where we're going with this, is that if these books do happen, will it be a Robert Jordan scenario in which the author dies and another writer comes in and finishes it for him, Brandon Sanderson. I'm not a big fan of The Wheel of Time, as most people know, if you look at my channel. My concern, my concern is, why not just do that now? If he's incapable of writing these books, if he has notes, if he has finished chapters and paragraphs and a unedited manuscript, why not just bring someone in to finish it? Because the fans want these books, and I get the creative burnout. I think he's kind of written himself into a bit of a hole, and I have a theory that some of it is to do with the way that he writes because he lets the characters kind of dictate the story which is a great way of writing by the way i kind of do that myself but sometimes you need to put your foot down and say no you're doing this i i know that sounds weird but it's true i just think that we aren't going to get this maybe he's just bored with it as well that's another thing i think could be a part of it he's burnt out on it we all know the end of game of thrones wasn't the best thing on the planet the tv show Let's hope he doesn't recycle that ending. But also, is there an ending? Has he got that far? Does this manuscript exist as scribbled notes in some journals? Or does it exist as an actual manuscript? Why are his publishers not putting foot down and saying we need these books out? Because he keeps saying in blog posts, oh, I finished this, I finished that. But he never actually gets them out. Maybe he's done with it. That's also a real possibility. Maybe he's like, I don't care about this anymore, or I'm just exhausted by it, and I just want to move on and do something else. <sighs> kind of sad, really. I don't want this to be a Robert Jordan situation in which the writer dies, and then out comes another book. But it took... But there were so many reasons behind that, not just maybe laziness, or maybe burnout, maybe whatever. Why not just bring in another writer? Why not bring someone in? He's well connected. Why not just bring these people in and say, here's my manuscript, finish it for me. Bring it together, make it a readable book. Creatively speaking, I know that feeling of burnout and it sucks. It genuinely sucks. But what I will say is, Sometimes you have an audience, you have a big audience, and you have people that love these books. Why not finish them? Why not get them out? A, you stand to make a hell of a lot of money, but B, you will be proving your critics wrong. That's a thing as well. Prove your critics wrong at this point. Because we want these books. We want the end. We want to know where this story ends. We want to know where these characters go. We want to know what happens in this world. Don't keep writing prequels. Don't keep writing spin-offs. Don't keep writing additional material. Write the damn novels already. And it's just... Maybe it is a case of stretching himself really thin. Like, logistically speaking, he's doing a hell of a lot. But you had a major global catastrophe to sit at your desk and do something. And you didn't. Fairness, yes. That took a lot of toll on everyone. Everyone on this planet, I think. But... It could have been like a creative renaissance. But I think my, my firm theory, my firm belief, is that he's just bored with them. He's done with them. He's had enough and just wants to move on and do something else. And maybe the TV gigs pay better. Just don't leave us sitting 
wrong side, don't leave us sitting <laughs> with those books unfinished. Because your audience want this. Your audience want these books. Your audience wants this energy. We want these books. We want the stories. We want to know how it ends. And when you think, what, this series, 30 years almost? And it's unfinished. That is a huge thing. And these aren't short novels by any means. I do understand the time, the effort, the work. It, it's not a way of doing it. But there you go. My big concern is that what if, like I said, he pops off, someone else finishes it, and that's when we finally get it 10 years from now. Yes, that's a great sales tactic. But, you know, maybe take a step back, write your damn novel, and don't keep doing this. And stop deflecting on your blog posts. My God. But just write the damn book. But like I said, my theory is there isn't one. My theory is there's notes, a rough first draft, and that's it. I don't even think it's seen an editor. I don't think he's really f put much into it. I don't even think he's at the final draft stage, but that's my personal belief. But I, at this point, I don't think these books are going to come out in his lifetime. I don't think these books really exist in anything readable, let alone anything else, because you would think the publishers would be jumping on it right now. But there we go. George R. R. Martin is doing his thing, and I will... Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.